All right, so for this next part, we're going to use the um, amounts that you decided you were gonna charge for your large and small lemonades, okay? So for my large lemonade, I was selling it for $5, and my small lemonade, I was selling it for $3. So it's up to you to uh, put your prices you decided on in these lemons, okay? So now we're gonna calculate how much we can make in a jug of lemonade depending on if we're, on if we're pouring small cups or big cups, okay? Um, so let's do, I'm gonna do the small cup, I mean the large cup side with you, and then you are gonna do this part on your own based on what we did here, okay? So if one large cup equals $5, five large cups. So I know that that would be five groups of $5. So I'm gonna count by whatever price this is, five times. So if your price was two, or if it was six, then you would count by twos or sixes, okay? So I'm gonna count by five, five times. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So $25 is equal to five large cups. So if I sell five large cups, I'm gonna make $25. So I can see up here that they've given us the information that one jug either equals five large cups or eight small cups. So I can get eight small cups out of a jug or I can get five large cups out of that jug, okay? So if five large cups equals $25, then one jug equals $25, all right? So now we say, we figured out that if I, for every jug of lemonade that I make, I can sell large cups to make $25 off of it, okay? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side with you too. So we know a small cup equals $3, um, and we have eight small cups, I'm gonna skip count by three eight times, or I'm gonna add three eight times. So three plus three plus three plus three plus three, blah, 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 or skip count, okay? I'm gonna skip count. So I'm gonna skip count by three, this price, this many times. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. 24 dollars for eight small cups because eight groups of three dollars makes 24 dollars. Okay, so if eight small cups equals $24, that means one jug of small cups equals $24. Oh, what do you notice here? What do you notice? I can make more money, based on my prices, I can make more money selling big cups than I can smelling, selling small cups, even though it's the same amount of lemonade. That's very interesting. So I'm gonna make sure I push to my customers, hey, just get a large, you're thirsty, right? You can, you can treat yourself to a big cup today, right? So I'm gonna try to sell that to them because I know I can make one more dollar using big cups than I can using small cups, okay? So now, down here, I'm going to figure out if I have this many jugs, how much money am I gonna make, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your price of one jug and you're gonna add it this many times, okay? You're gonna add it that many times. So if I have $25 per jug and I have four jugs, watch what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna add 25 four times. You can do this two at a time, um, and then add your sums together. I'm gonna do it all together. I'm gonna skip count by fives first. Five, 10, 15, 20, because that would be four groups of five. My zero goes in the ones place, my two gets regrouped. And then I'm gonna skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So I can make $100 with four jugs. Now, this is where it's gonna be, we can either be, <laughs> we can either do it as the smart way or we can do it the long way, okay? And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it the smart way because that is gonna save you some time and make your brain not hurt so much. So, if I know, Oops, I forgot my dollar sign. If I know that four jugs is $100, I'm not gonna add 25 five times to figure out five jugs. I'm just gonna add one more group of 25 to this amount, right? Because this is four plus 25 more. Zero plus five is five. Zero plus two is two. One plus nothing is one. So now one more jug is going to be, one more group of 25 gets me to $125. You see what's happening here? Now I wanna know eight jugs. Well, what do I know about four and eight? How can I get eight from four? If I 
double it, right? If I double four, I get eight, so I should be able to double $100 in order to get how many, um, how much money I'm gonna make with eight jugs. So what is 100 if I double it? If I double it, what do I get? 200. So eight groups of $25 gives me $200, right? That's what this is saying. So this is saying, if I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight jugs, and they're each worth $25, all of that money together is gonna equal $200, okay? So if I add all of those jugs together, that's what we're doing here. We're just adding groups of $25, okay? So now, um, so now I have 10. So I need to add two more groups of 25 to, to the 200 to get to 10, right? Because eight plus two is 10. So I need two more groups of 25. So I'm gonna take 200 and add 25 twice. Because that would be eight jugs plus another jug plus another jug would be 10 jugs. So five plus five is 10. One plus two plus two is five. And two plus nothing is two. So that would be $250. Okay, so $250 off of 10 jugs is how much I can make. Now I have 20 jugs. You may say, Ms. Grove, I am not adding 25 20 times. And I'm gonna say, you don't have to. Because what do I know about 10 and 20? What do I know about those? I know that if I double 10, I'm gonna get 20. So if I double 250, I'm gonna get this answer right here. But you may say, Ms. Hargrove, I don't know how to double 250. I don't know what that equals. Well, guess what I'm gonna tell you? Just add it twice. That's all you're doing when you're doubling, right? You're adding the same thing to itself. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus five is 10, which is zero, and then regroup the one. One plus two plus two is five. $500. If I sell 20 jugs, I'm gonna make, oh gosh, I messed up that five, guys. I'm gonna make $500, okay? So now, what we would do is we would take this price of 24 and do, the, do these number of jugs over here, okay? So use, use your math tricks whenever you can of like doubling or just adding a couple more groups, right? So that's where you're gonna have um, uh, an easier time, okay? Because if I know how much two jugs are, well, when I get down here to seven, I'm gonna add that amount plus one more group, right? Because seven and three would make 10. You just use little tricks here and there so where you don't, because what I don't want you to do is this. Well, I added 25 four times, now I'm gonna add 25 five times. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here and add 25 10 times, right? That's not a good use of our time, blah, 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 blah. That's not a good use of our time. So use your math tricks where you can, okay? And then what you're gonna do is, if you only sold lemonade, how many jugs would you need to reach your goal? So you're gonna go back to that other page where we set a goal for how much you wanted to raise for your charity. And you said, okay, subtracting all of my expenses, how much am I gonna need to, um, how much extra money am I gonna need to make my profit? How much am I gonna need to make to um, donate what I want to for my charity? So you're gonna say, how much would I need to do of large cups or of small cups, okay? And these are large jugs with large cups, jugs with small cups, let's write that. Jugs with large, jugs with small, okay? Awesome, guys.